Have you been thinking about downsizing your rig? Well, today I've got one way of doing that for less than 200 bucks. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. What if I told you that for all intents and purposes, you could actually replace your amplifier with just these two small pebble board sized, well, pedals. I've talked about the Moore 5053 in a previous video, and I think that the sound coming out of this thing is pretty believable considering that it's just a compact little preamp pedal. But you obviously can't push a cabinet with this thing all by itself. You're gonna need some power behind your pedal here. And I have found quite possibly the most affordable yet effective solution to the power pedal board problem. Pedal board power, power, power board. Power board pro, what, I don't know. You know, the, the, the pedal board amp situation. This guy right here is the Harley Benton GPA 100 solid state pedal board size power amp. And it is awesome. It's less than a hundred bucks. And I mean, it's a, it's a full blown 100 watt power amp. I feel like you're not gonna match that for an amp that's literally like the, the size of, it's slightly smaller than the M5. Those of you that know the size of the M5 know that it's, I mean, it's bigger than your average pedal but not by much and this is even smaller than that. It's got a pretty streamlined design. What's going on here is that we've got a three band EQ, bass, mid, treble, which are pretty effective sweeps. I'll show you an example in a minute. But then one big old volume knob and that's it. This has a really, really, really usable volume sweep where for instance on my big amp I use an attenuator to bring that low room volume down to something that's actually reasonable in my actual room because my amp even at low volumes is loud. This here has a very, very usable low volume. When you turn it off, it's completely off. When you turn it up to 25%, it's a really nice usable room volume. So this is really an option for somebody that's the bedroom warrior that might do a weekend gig. And then of course, when you crank it up, it starts to, to really get up there. Depending on what you've got going into it, be it a small preamp pedal or some kind of a effects processor, multi-effects processor, for instance, the M5, things like that. You know, even something like, you know, an Axe FX. Not that I'd say that you really want to go that far because if you're using something like an XFX, you probably want to go with a higher quality power amp. But I, I mean, I don't know. I, when you have an XFX, you don't need an amp anyway. You just plug directly into the PA and it's fine. I'm talking about minimizing your amp. If you're running something similar to what I'm running, like an EVH5153, I'm talking about bringing it down to pedal board size power. Now having this option is really, really useful for those that do get out there and tour and do the flyout gigs. Not a whole lot of effects, not a whole lot of things going on. If you're just looking for a badass amp sound, heavy distortion, you kind of can't go wrong with this little 200 euro, $200 setup. One thing you absolutely need to keep in mind is that when you go out of the output on this pedal, you must use a speaker cable. Okay, because this is going to go directly into your speaker cabinet. Do not go from the output of this pedal into the front of your amp or something like that. That's not what this is for. This is replacing your amp. Okay, keep that in mind. Speaker cable, you'll have to invest in a pretty long one. I would say, you know, as long as you need it to be from wherever you would put this on the stage to your amp. It is a little weird to buy a, like a 20 foot long speaker cable, but I, you know, that's what you're gonna need to make this work. Speaker cable, output, speaker cable, input, instrument cable. Output, speaker cable, input, instrument cable. Keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and hear what it sounds like.
Harley Benton GPA 100. Very cool little pedal board sized power amp. Really affordable. Definitely get out there and try it. If you're in the market to look to downsize your rig, even if it's just to have a backup rig, this is a really, really affordable way to do that. And I think it's usable. You know, it sounds decent. It's got, it's got all the things that you need to get going. Again, I'm always trying to give you guys options for things that are affordable, that get the job done. Are they the highest quality? No. Well, just buy an EVH and have an EVH or just buy whatever amp it is that you want to play if you're looking for that super high quality product. But if you're looking for an alternative that could get you through if you needed to, for instance, if you were out on the road and you had to play one gig that was a fly out rig and you couldn't really bring your regular amp, you could do something like teaming up a preamp with a sort of solid state little pedal board sized power amp situation and it essentially makes these things your amp. It's really cool. The idea is very cool and yeah, so it's going to save you a lot more money than buying an Axe FX or a Kemper to take on the road with you. So literally all you need is a small pedal board that you can pretty much fit in a backpack and these two guys with Maybe a noise suppressor and a tuner, of course. Those are always kind of necessary. The options are literally endless. You can't go wrong. Give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vid, you know what to do, all the good stuff. We're releasing content all the time over here in Mad Man Music, so make sure you do the thing, hit the buttons, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Peace!